Hello, welcome to British English with Joel and Leah. Today we've got a video for you, 10 words that you're probably pronouncing incorrectly. So if you're new to this channel, we've created a free welcome pack, which you can get by clicking the link in the description and filling out the Google form. It will take 60 seconds of your time and it's really worth it. It's got loads of FAQs and yeah. lovely things. Anyway, onwards. So the first word that you might pronounce wrong is quinoa. Often people say quinoa, 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 quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> I made that one up. <laughs> uh, but to be honest, even English people get this one wrong. When quinoa first became a trendy thing here in London, I thought it was called quinoa. Quinoa. I why always you? knew it was quinoa. Uh, did you? Oh, Personally. Darling. Um, so I'm um, no bragging, no bragging. <laughs> uh, but the yeah. correct way of saying it is quinoa. Quinoa. On the topic of Q U words. Mm -hmm. um, I've noticed people say Q incorrectly as well. Yeah. Oh, that's spelt so hard. It isn't spelt how it sounds, so it's spelt Q U E U E. Um, it's pronounced Q. Not Q U U. -u. And quinoa <laughs> made me think of that. Good. The second word that people pronounce incorrectly is almond. Some people pronounce it almond because it has an L after the A, which makes sense, but. It's not pronounced that way. It's got a silent L, and sometimes you do even hear people say, um, almond. I say that. Yeah. I am guilty of saying almond. Yeah. Have you got any almond milk? Whereas it's, I would say, have you got any almond, almond milk? milk? That's the correct way of saying it. Because Joel is, is clever. Clever. Because <laughs> I've got glasses on. Since Joel is wearing glasses, everything he says is correct and everything I say is merely incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Number three is Leicester. Leicester is a town in the UK. It's also in a tube stop name in London, Leicester Square. So often people say Leicester, yeah. Leicester, Leicester. Leicester. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, just it's quite a hard one to pronounce because there's lots of letters in there for quite a simple word. It should really be spelled L-E-C-E-S-T-E-R, but it's not. Yeah. It's extra letters put in there. When the E and the I, when two vowels come after each other as yeah. well, it's like Leicester. Leicester. So, <laughs> I don't know. So the correct way to pronounce this word in British English is Leicester. Leicester. <laughs> okay. So here's a boy saying it. Lester. Lester. You say, here's a girl saying it. <laughs> and here's a girl saying it. Lester. <laughs> yeah. Boys and girls and boy in Redford girl. Channel. Here's a 26 year old saying it. Lester. <laughs> here's a 54 year old saying it. <laughs> Lester. We should make a video like how to pronounce Lester on, in every age group. <laughs> and here's a newborn saying it. <laughs> <laughs> word we have for you is yoke. I had a year four teacher when I was about eight years old and she taught us all that it was pronounced yolk and I being the precocious eight-year-old that I was, was like no it's yolk and she was like it is yolk so then we were forced to call it yolk no but she's wrong yolk is another word that's got a silent l a bit like almond yeah yolk and salmon Salmon, yeah, Silent not sal L. Although we have a friend that calls it salmon. Someone. It's really cute. <laughs> it is cute, but She's wrong. from Serbia. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not kidding. She, she, she is, is from, from Serbia. Serbia. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, moving on. <laughs> very British. Oh, I didn't mean it like that, but yeah. no, she is she from is Serbia. Kind of true. Um, Number five is choir. So the word choir is another word that's spelt not how it sounds. Yeah. C H O I R. Choir. <laughs> <laughs> or choir. Doesn't make any sense, but the C and H is not pronounced ch, ch like you'd think it would be. It's ch choir. choir. Hmm. And yeah, you don't really pronounce the O and the I separately, do you? It's such a weird one. It is weird. Not choir no. or choir. <laughs> <laughs> it's choir. Choir. So the sixth word that people pronounce incorrectly is data. Data is pronounced differently in Australia, the UK and America, let alone anywhere else. So you might hear people say data or... Yeah, or data. Data. So Americans, would they yeah, say data? Da data. Or as and Australians. I should say data. Data. 
but Brits say data. Data. Which I think sounds really nice and yeah. friendly. And also, <laughs> also quite geeky. Oh, you got any data on that? <laughs> data. Oh, I've got some really good data, some information. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a slight regional accent, maybe Cockney or London, you might say data. Oh, drop the T. Drop the T on it. There is no right or wrong way to pronounce it out of those three ways. If you're learning American English, then go with data. But seeing as you're probably learning British English because you're watching this video, it's data. Data. So the seventh word is niche. 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 Niche, for those of you that don't know, means a very specific thing. So, for instance, having a niche interest. If you're a bird watcher, you're interested in a very specific type of bird. So you might not hear it that often. I don't think the word is thrown around very regularly, but it's good to know that it's pronounced niche and not niche. Niche or, or niche. niche. In America, I think they say niche. niche. So niche. Niche. So number eight. Now we thought we'd throw in a couple of names here, particularly Irish names, which we know Ireland isn't technically in the UK. But there are tons of Irish people in London. Yeah. And in England, yeah. not just London. Definitely. We hear them all the time in London, so we thought it might be useful for you to know. Um, so some really difficult names that we've come across are the name Sean, which can be spelled like this. Or this. Or even this. Which is confusing, but just know that they're all pronounced Sean. Sean. The name Kieran. Can be written like this. Or this. Or even probably this. Um, if you are interested in Irish names that are hard to pronounce, we've actually made a whole video on that because we're really interested in, in these names as well. Yeah. Um, so check that out. We've just linked it up here in the cards or in the description. Number nine is turquoise. Turquoise is a hard word to pronounce because it's got the U, O and I next to each other. So again, loads of vowels after a Q and you're like, to quiet you. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah, again, it might not be one that you use very much, but it's a good one to know because also it's quite clever if you can name a colour as turquoise instead of just blue or, or green. green. Yeah, expanding your vocabulary yeah. with the word turquoise. Definitely. Once I was describing someone's eyes and I was like, oh, they're aquamarine. Aquamarine. <laughs> I just thought that would... Oh, they're duck egg blue. I'd pepper that into the conversation. <laughs> Another colour, which we hadn't prepared this one, mm. that's hard to pronounce, is mauve. 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 What a word. Such a weird spelling as well. M-A-U-V-E. -E. -E. Mauve. Here's a girl saying it. <laughs> mauve. Here's a boy saying it. Mauve. <laughs> Slight difference. So the tenth word, and I'm sure we've gone beyond ten, we're probably on fifteen now, but the tenth <laughs> official word that we've prepared for you is the word tube. Tube, as in the London tube, or, or just a tubed shape thing. Or YouTube. Your YouTube. <laughs> Which you're on right now. <laughs> lots of people, lots of people will pronounce it tube. Or tube. Tube. I've heard people pronounce it tube. Tube. tube, tube. 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 <laughs> Lots of our students say to be. To be. or not to be. Tube. Tube. So, other words with that sound Tuesday. Or the word tuna. Technically, I think they should be pronounced tube or, or Tuesday. Tuna. Or tuna. But uh -huh. in England, we often pronounce T U as C H. Yeah. Don't so, know why. Tube. Yeah, Ch the cheese, same one. Cheese, choice, yeah. chess. This, uh, yeah, this sound often replaces the tu sound. Mm -hmm. It's just sort of laziness. Yeah. Um, but it's, it, you know, it doesn't mean to say that it's incorrect. In fact, most people say, "I'm getting on the tube." Yeah, and you'll stand out more if you're trying to learn British English and you're saying "tube" instead of "tube." So mm -hmm. just try to get in the habit of using this ch sound when mm. there's a t. That's all we've got for you guys. Um, yeah. We've got some other videos peppered into this video if you want to check them out. We've got an American and English pronunciation video which we'll link in the description as well as the Irish video we mentioned yeah. and also the BBC English video which is all to do with the U sound. Yeah, like we just spoke about. Mm. Tube, tuna, that sort of thing. Duke. Duke. The Duke of the, Edinburgh. Yeah, not Duke. Okay. 
Anyway, <laughs> if you liked it, don't forget to click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And I just thought I'd mention we've got this um, Patreon page that we've started. Uh, if you want to support our videos, uh, as you know, Google AdSense is a way lots of YouTubers earn a living, but it pays pennies. So you can also check out our Patreon page and tip us $1, $5, whatever you can afford or not at all. Yep. For each donation, we have a reward for you. That's all for today, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment in the description if you found this useful. Yep. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.